So we're back. This is just a basic math question. Thanks for coming into Jacobitz Learning. Before we go into our math equation, I want you to look at when you see 4x or any number in an equation, 3x plus 5 equals 15, your mind has to look at what's going on. So this 3x says multiply some number which you don't know yet, unless you're doing advanced algebra, and you, you, you're not knowing it yet. You're trying to find it out so that you can take this whole part of the equation and add it to 5, and then your answer is going to be 15. So you have to look at what you're trying to do when you get ready to solve an equation and your mind has to constantly think about what it is you want to accomplish before you just start solving and throwing out numbers. So for instance, when you look at over on the other side, this 4x equals 20, your mind probably already knows the answer that x equals 5. Okay, because really quickly, if you know your, uh, your five times tables or your four times tables, you know that that's the answer. But the other part of the problem is that this 4 and this x next to each other means that this number multiplied by this variable x, all of this has to come out and equal 20. So, of course, x is 5 because 4, we know 4 times 1 is, is, is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12. And, of course, 4 times 4 is 16. And even if you get tired and don't want to do uh, 4 times 5, guess what? Look at these. Look at your answers. For this 8 and this 12, 12 is plus 4 more than the number out here. So 4 times 2 is 8, because 4 times 1 is 4. So 4, 8, and then this, this 12, all of these numbers are going up plus 4. That's how your four times tables work. That's how your six times tables work. That's how all of this work. Your answers are always going to be plus whatever this is. So for instance, six times some number equals 30. Well, in your six times tables, six times two, and I'm drawing the dot because you can either do uh, across an X like this, or you can do a dot. So six set times two equals 12. Now the next number has to be six more than this. So 6 times 3 equals 18. If you were on a number line, wouldn't you go up 6 places? So count on your fingers. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and you should have 6 fingers up. So 6 times 4, this answer is 6 more, is going to be 24. And then 6 times 5 is going to be 30. Right, right, right. <laughs> so um, you ha your mind has to think this quickly. So we're not going to stay on this slide too much longer. We're going to move on just to get you the concept Look at what this equation is doing, and please, when you get ready to do, you're going to remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS, whatever you want to call it, parentheses, is your P, exponents, is your E, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and I forgot division in here. And I sat here and said PEMDAS, but I forgot to do right here, uh, most important after multiplication is division. So PEMDAS
Let's go over it again. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So since even those of us who've been doing this for a while can tend to forget this stuff, how are you going to do this? Multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction. So remember that. You're going to do parentheses exponents, which in this equation here you don't have. Okay, but you do have multiplication and division. So you're going to do those first, multiplication. Uh, and you don't see division, but you have it. And you have addition and subtraction. So just try to keep them together. MD, like a medical doctor, and AS, like an associate's degree. So try to think of it that way. Now here we are, 4x minus 20 plus 2x equals 10. Some people immediately want to solve for 10, but let me tell you something. You have a negative 20 over here. This also says subtract negative 20 from whatever 4 times some number is and subtract 20 from it and then add 2 times some number to get 10. So know that that's what it says but when you're getting ready to do this and you're under time constraints please remember your pim das please excuse my dear aunt sally so first thing you want to do though too is get like terms together okay now when you get your like terms together do you see like terms anywhere in here no you don't see like terms somewhere so you have to know that and you have to know like terms. Stephen likes Edgar. Sally likes Sandra. You know, uh, Sandra doesn't like Steve. They all want to get in a group and they've got to do something. So you've got to put your groups together. And this was done for you. This is why this was drawn because this is a 4x and this is a 2x. That's a 6x. Now 20 is over here. Why did I leave 10 alone? Why is 10 by itself? Because 10 is on the other side of this equal sign. 10 cannot come and join a group until he does something one side or another. Or somebody comes from the other side and gets him because he's on the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to leave 10 alone over here in the yellow by himself. And remember, we combined this term, and then we took this 20 over here. This is my highlighter here, and we brought it down here as a negative 20, because that's what it is. Okay, now, what did I do here? Why do you see this green line on this 20? You see this green line here, because 6x was going to be by itself, right? As, as the only person there with a partner right next to him and negative 20 was going to be by himself hey maybe he can go over and join 10 but before he goes over and joins 10 he's got to be subtracted out when he gets subtracted out it has to be the opposite that attracts him is that in your PEMDAS is that in your like terms no that's something you have to know so we're going to take what's called the inverse and your teachers might make you remember it as the additive inverse. Sometimes they'll say the negative inverse, but for right now, let's not worry about the adjective in front of it. Let's just call it an, at, an inverse. We're gonna take positive 20. There's no negative over here. This is positive 20. This is a plus sign, no negative sign. Okay, so I'm gonna put no negative and not for now okay no negative but guess what there might be a negative later if we see something but for right now there's no negative sign this six this negative 20 this positive 20 cancel out he had a 6x this 6x was brought down because remember he was left by himself so he's brought down. This, these two canceled out. So now there's zero. And this is 6x plus zero equals 30. So 6x equals 30. We can almost think what the answer is. Well, of course, x equals 5. Did I divide anything? Not yet. 
I was supposed to take 6x and divide it by or multiply it by 1, 6. That's called its multiplica multiplicative inverse. Multiple, multiplicative inverse, boy, it's Christmas time and I'm like out of it, is 30, which means that you now get 30 over 6. X equals, and let's say you don't remember your time tables, your sixes, or you go off. You can also reduce this. 2 goes into 30 15 times, and 2 goes into 6 3 times. Now you should remember 15 times, 15 uh, 3 into 15, not times, 15 uh, divided by 3 is 5. But let's say you don't. See if you can't take 3 and reduce this into each term. And when you take 3 into 5, you get 5. And when you take 3 into itself, you get 1. So your answer is definitely 5. That's how you solve these. And that's just a real quick way to show you how to solve it. Uh